the world's most powerful launch vehicle and by far the biggest flying object ever made. We're currently at T plus 31 minutes and 24 seconds awaiting our third flight test of Starship from Starbase Texas or what we here at SpaceX like to call the gateway to Mars. Starship which you see on your screen is the latest and largest vehicle developed to date by SpaceX and in the world ever. Compared to Saturn V, the rocket that first took astronauts to the moon, Starship has more than twice the thrust, and with some upgrades that are planned for the future, it'll have three times the thrust. So we're about a minute and 20 seconds away. Just walking you through one last time, we're gonna see the engines ignite about four seconds uh, before we hit our T0. They're gonna ignite in three different banks. You'll get 13 of the inners, 15 of the outers, and then the last five ignite just two minutes before T0. And then after that, the quick disconnect will retract. The, the engines will start to throttle up and then we'll see liftoff about a second and a half after T0. So we're under a minute away. Don't be shocked if we hold at 40 seconds before, but it sounds like the winds are cooperating today. And we'll be able to move right past that, not tracking any other technical issues that could hold Proceeding us. past our QD vent gate. Through the QD vent gate, past seconds, the 40 second hold. Go for lunch. Flight Director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch. 20. So 20 seconds to go. Let's listen in. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal acquisition of signal corpus christi continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic. So we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, the next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're going to be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're going to shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off. And then the clamps holding the two stages together are going to release. Starship second stage will ignite its engines, the RVAX first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle so if you look close and we get good tracking you might be able to see those center right after and so those six engines will push starship off of the booster all right
right, counting down now. We're going to be coming up right at around the three-minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle, and then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away, and that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Booster's now making its way video. back, yeah. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh, man. Uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship. Uh, first stage is currently performing. The ship boost avionics, power and telemetry nominal. Good there. News informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back burn, expecting that to last about one minute. That boost Good back burn. Uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're uh, only using the super heavy boosters, 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. Six Raptor engines have successfully shut down. We heard a call out for nominal orbital insertion, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan. 